Hello guys, welcome to Tickets, Tickets again. Yep. Where we we are going to talk about, about war, war, the planet the of the war Apes. for the planet of the apes. Just so before we have to get to this, we got this slow. We are right not. Here. We are not. We are not in any way associated yeah, with, with Red Robins or Incorporation of any kind. We're just saying if you happen to get it, just you be aware that you can only spend it for ten dollars or under. Or under. If you try to buy a movie ticket that costs more than ten dollars, it does not function properly. Because we had problems with you. Okay, ten dollars. Although they did eventually, although they just they did waive it and say they did waive it and let us have our movie ticket for free. Most, well, we well, they took, the, they, took the, they took the voucher. They took the voucher, but we paid. They took our voucher that we printed. So it was basically kind of free. We well, yeah. spent five extra dollars, but you know what? Right, they just so like, make no. sure if you go to see it, make, make sure, sure you go to a nine dollars or sure under. Going that's under ten, yeah, under ten dollars under. Under ten dollars with the yeah, taxes. Yeah, under ten dollars. But so that's just yeah, to yeah. let you know ahead of time. All right, so anyway, let's let's talk let's talk let's talk War of the Planet of the Apes. It was a good movie. Good given. I haven't sat down and watched the original Planet of the Apes yet. I really wanted to after after we seeing, have seen them. I know, but I, ha- I wanted to go back after seeing yeah. War of the Planet of the Apes. I wanted to go back and watch the original Planet of the Apes. I wanted to see how many references yeah they put into War of the Planet of the Apes to the to the old sixties version. I only kind of, I only kind of one, but see, I think I think there were at least two, and I'm trying to find out if there's a third. I know there's two, and I was wondering if a third, so I was trying to find out yeah, a third. I was just glad that the time that we went, the movie ended just enough time so I could get ready to go to work. Yeah, it was, not, <laughs> it was nice to be on the other side of that for once. Cause with, with, with Spider-Man, I was the one who had to run and go to work, and he got to, you know, he was free. I, you know, in this case, yeah. he had to go to work, I got to be the one free. Yeah, I had a night shift, you had a day shift. Yeah, I had the day shift for Spider-Man, so I ended up getting the end of, I ended up having to leave Spider-Man yeah. and go to, move, go to work. When yeah. he got the other side of the coin, he got the, oh, it's a nice he got the night shift to go to Night, ten hour shift and go back in six, yeah, whatever, seven hours later. Whatever, whatever, let's, uh, let's talk about the movie, let's move yeah, so, on anyway. Yeah. I like that it was a good one, how they played it out, and... I do think that they played out really well. I mean, mm-hmm. I think their story. I think the 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 timeline that they created is very believable. I could totally believe that yeah. it happens the way that it the way that they describe it in the movie, and I think that makes total sense. You know, so the next one it will, does make some. Eh, eh, I don't think there is another one. If there is going to be another one, it's going to be how the first one, be, the original one, began. It have to be because it's the only place you can set because. And that's why I think that they're trying to tie into the six because the old one the old one starts with us in the planet in the society created by Caesar and the created apes. by Caesar and the people or Caesar and the apes. Which makes sense to And then and of course it also explains why the in the original, why are humans Unable to speak. Well, that's what that's explained in the third. That's explained in this movie. At least a reason for it is explained in this movie. Yeah. But that's why I want. That's why I want to go back. I want to see if if the character in three is a character. To, yeah, a character in three. If he's if it's supposed to be the this other childhood ver- the childhood version of this other character from this from the original sixties yeah. movie, or you know, it, it could be the offspring of that person but which is possible which is possible but i just because want to know because they named because they, na- they named him they, they is, named them they, they named them and i'm pretty sure that was the name of the character in the 60s well, so series i think well, it's and i know the one and i know the one character is named literally for the character from the original series because that is one of the characters names in the original series no, so um you gotta figure these we for astronauts are in space still doing that the, during this movie takes place. Well, I don't think they are because the way, that, the way that's supposed to be the way that's supposed to be explained is that he that the uh, that they go through a time warp. So if they went through a time warp, they may not be up there yet because this is supposed to be they left. Just in, just they left. They were really, supposed to leave in like the sixties or seventies, and then they. There's left. a whole, but there's a whole. Like, yeah. Now. 
Well, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I so just want, I want to know. I want to know if they're tying into the. For this one, they just they're trying done. to tie. I think they were really trying to tie into the original '60s series because they made certain things. So anyways, specifically yeah, referencing so the, the '60s series. All I am I'm saying is, which these, is still an awesome series. I mean, you know, it's vintage. It's vintage, and you yeah. have to kind of accept vintage. But it's I'm awesome. just saying these three points are just to me that just in time before the virus got came to existence. Well, we, go, don't, we don't we don't know because we don't because yeah, if, they, the if they one. left in because the first very first one right, but see. if they left in we don't know we don't know the timeline for the original series because the original series the timeline's a little different yeah. because in the time in the original series the timeline says that the uprising was in 1999. It seems to be a turn of a century thing. People like utopian and for some reason they like 1999. I don't know why. I mean, it, it, it of course now it doesn't work anyway because you're like, we know none of this happened in 1999. Yeah. So anyway, anyway, it's a good movie on how it what it was yeah. and, and all the little jokes was happening. Oh yeah. But as a whole, can we talk about the whole Planet of the Apes series? I mean, not just like I mean not the '60s series, but like the whole. The whole series for... It's going to be really hard to try not to get anything away, but in this one... Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, you know, I mean, like, overall, like, looking at, like, Rise, yeah. War, and Rise, Rise, Dawn, and War. Yeah. Do you feel that that's a complete circle? Do you believe that, do you feel that's a complete circuit? Like, they told, so. like, they told, they told a complete story. Pretty much. It seems like... <laughs> it's a good happening. I'm glad they did it the way they did, because... There was speculation at one point that they said, "Oh, the third Planet of the Apes is going to be a prequel," and I was like, "So, I was like so upset about that, thinking you're going to go back and what tell us like how the virus took over the world? What what are we going to do?" Yeah. But I like this. This makes sense, and 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 it's kind of I love that I love that whoever wrote these seriously went through and went, "We're going to make slight nods to certain things in the old series." That like yeah, so, you know is in there if you're. So if there the is a, four, a fourth one, they might do a remake of the originals. Oh, I hope they don't. I mean, if they do, I would. If they do, they should do. If they do, they should do the upright. They should do the creation of the ape society. We should see like how the apes get to the society they have because yes, right now we see them as tree, tree, forest. tree bear. Yeah, living in forests, living in trees. Living in, in, caves. in caves, which is fine, but then if you go yeah, to... Yeah, I think the original one, they actually had a, some kind of cave system anyways, too. And I think in the original, no, in the original one, they actually had buildings. They actually had actual structures. Yeah. I mean, they, they were they were, they were were domed structures, but they were still structures. And I would like to know, like, who built the structures? You know, did the apes build the structures? Did humans who who fape, who worked with the apes, or did they, did they have... Did they have... Uh, so, okay. I good, so I think that's all we can talk about without telling parts of the story. Guitar is so, not. All right. Good. So, so I'm. I have to give it a five because yeah. it was amazing and like like you said, I think it told. I think it told a really nice complete story, and I did enjoy the, the opening with it where they went and said, "Here's what happened before yeah. this starts." You know, it's like. And I liked the idea that they made the title, they made the title different colors, you know. I liked that they said, you know, this event caused the rise of the Planet of the Apes, this event caused the dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and then this event caused the mm -hmm. war of the Planet of the Apes. And, yeah, then, so and then we got into the thing. I give it a zero. A zero? <laughs> no, I'm good. You give it a zero? No, I give it a five. A zero and a five would still put it at five. Five divided would be two and a half. So it's still get a, it's still, it's still mm -hmm. get a C. See, yeah, man. It's, it's a five. A C plus. No, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say, oh, I'm here to tell you how good it is. Now I'm giving it a zero. <laughs> right, right. It's like it's like the Gong Show. Where it's like I was really impressed by the show. I give it a two. Yeah, now it's no seeing it that this show uh, guys keep going on about. You're saying Gong Show is Mike Myers. Is it, it is it? Mike Myers. No, what if Mike? What if not Mike Myers? And Mike Myers happens to be. It is Mike Myers. No. It's not like, what happens in what if Mike Myers happens to be sitting down as one of the judges? It is Mike Myers. He was saying Mike Myers, but a lot of people, 
No, it is literally Mike Myers. They've, inter- they've, they've proven it on IMDb. Okay, on man. IMDb, it says yeah. Mike Myers playing Toby, playing oh. Tom, Tommy Maitland. Anyone could done that. Anyone assumes is assuming it. It's not oh, an assumption. Okay. It's really it's Mike well, Myers. I'm gonna say what if? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say what if Mike Myers happens to be judging the show? And that would be absolutely. Host- that would be absolutely hilarious, and that would it would be it would. It would blow it, everyone's minds. Like, everyone, yeah, everyone see, would tell them everyone, them. what? I thought this. I thought Mike. I thought Drew his name is, is was Mike Myers. Nope. His name is Tommy Maitland. So anyway, Tommy Maitland is supposed to be the host of the Egon show. That doesn't work. I would like to find. I would like them to introduce the. Uh, the yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. I got. Bye, bye. guys.